I love Women's Day. I love International Women's Day. I've always celebrated it. An opportunity to reflect on ourselves, our achievements and our beliefs. It's recognising individuals for what they are and not being labelled, whether that's through gender, religion um, or age even, and just understanding what each individual can bring to the table. I find that there's um, many women in history that haven't been recognised and go unnoticed. One of my heroes is Maya Angelou. Her voice really resonated when it was exceptionally difficult for um, people of colour and women of colour. Diversity is the richest tapestry of life. We still need to go through a lot of work to get where we want to be, including the LGBT community with trans women. You just got to live your life and be yourself um, and not worry too much about keeping up with the Joneses, shall we say. <laughs> my proudest moment was when my first child, my son, was born. He is 13 years now, so now when I see him growing, he's more taller than me. I would say not many people know that I could touch my toes, I guess, because obviously because of my size, they assume that I'm big and can't be flexible, so I could do those things, I could do the splits, and yeah. So not many people know that, but I'm not going to try it now after having another baby. <laughs> so to be the estate director of Regent's Place is something to be truly proud of, and actually has far exceeded anyone else's expectations and possibly my own expectations for myself. We as women have achieved so much. We as women are amazing. We as women can uplift ourselves, but actually there is also a clear underlining uh, statement there which we're saying that actually we have a long way to go, that things are still not perfect and discrimination and equality still exist. So it's a, a celebration on one hand, but also a clear indication that actually we need to remember that we need more, we need to do more.